What's up YouTube? Peace Hotep, the black man is God. Today, I'm making a video about the top 10 movies you should watch during this Halloween. Okay, first I'm going to start this list off with two honorable mentions. Movies that were good, but they didn't make the top 10. But they do get an honorable mention. So, the first honorable mention is Dawn of the Dead. I'm not talking about the original Dawn of the Dead that was in the 70s. I'm talking about the remake that was made in 2004. That's the one that I have uh, sentimental value attached to. And I did watch the original and it was good. But I like the 2004 version with Ben Rings better. Okay, and also Child's Play, the original Chucky movie. Child's Play, the original Child's Play is an honorable mention. So now let's get to the top 10. And these top 10 is not really any particular order except the top three. Those are those top three, I do believe, are the top three movies that you should watch this Halloween. But without further ado, here's the top 10. Number 10 is Jason X. Now, it's pretty much self-explanatory, right? Jason goes into space and then it just, the movie kind of just writes itself. So, you know, uh, it's cheesy. But it's it's a Jason movie. It's it gives you everything that you need from a Jason movie. People getting heads chopped off and all kind of crazy kills. It's very enjoyable, and that's why it made my top ten. The next movie is Jason versus Freddy. Uh, uh, Jason and Freddy they deserve a lot of spots on this list. And this movie, when they finally uh, face off against each other, is a definite movie that you need to watch for this Halloween season. All right, it's um, you know a, a prize fight basically, but they made it into a movie, and they do kind of res they do respect both movie uh, franchises, and they bring them together quite well. So Jason versus Freddy is number nine on my list. Okay, number eight is Freddy. Number three, Dream Warriors. This has to be my all time favorite freddy movie because it was like i always felt like when i watched freddy movies that it was like well, this is my dream so i should have some kind of control over it and then they actually made a movie where you know the kids had control in their dream and they had powers and stuff and then and also a uh, dream child does those movies kind of go together but really uh dream warriors is the one that makes the list the next movie that makes the list is 28 days later now this is the only zombie movie that really made it on to the top 10 list and 28 days later it's just a great movie just the part when he's like hello hello and then it's like they meet up with the army then the army people they're crazy and they're trying to rape the girls and stuff so like everything about that movie is just it's a great movie and you should definitely watch it. 28 Days Later definitely deserves a spot on my list. Now, the next movie is probably going to be a controversial choice because I see a lot of different videos saying that Rob Zombie uh, destroyed the Halloween movies. But in my personal opinion, the first one that he did, I didn't see all the Rob Zombie Halloween movies, but I did see the first one that he made, and I enjoyed that. It was like kind of a retelling of of the Halloween story. It was like a it gave you a uh, like a Batman Begins almost a Michael Myers Begins uh, kind of story, and it kind of showed you how he became the slasher killer that we know today as Michael Myers. The next movie on my list is Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood, another good cheesy movie, just kind of like a black exploitation movie but it was just good i seen it when i was a kid and then they kind of kind of uh rebooted it and the original had like made some some points uh, about you know uh society and stuff and then the reboot made some points so if you want to watch either of the tales from the hoods then those i don't blame you i hope that i heard there's going to be a third one too but i don't know all right the next movie on my list and this is getting to the top, almost to the top three, but this is the number four, the fourth movie, is Bones. And that is with uh, Snoop Dogg. He made a movie where he was a 
villain or he was a good guy but he came back as this guy who was just ripping people apart and he had this dog who was like almost like the crow if you watch that movie and then uh, alright so we get into the top three and here's another movie with Snoop Dogg and it's Hood of Horrors and it's basically like Tales from the Crypt and he tells like a, d- a bunch of different tales but they all kind of intertwine and they connect and it's like a bunch of scary stories so it's a good thing to watch for Halloween alright the number two movie that you should definitely watch is Evil Dead. Now, you can watch Evil Dead the movie. You can watch Evil Dead the TV series. You can just anything Evil Dead. You need to watch it ashy slashy with the chainsaw and the boomstick. It's a must for Halloween. All right. Evil Dead. That's my number two pick. And I really love that, especially the TV show. I love that one, too. All right. And here it is. My number one pick for a movie that you must watch on Halloween is Blade. I'm sorry, it had to be. You know me. If you know anything about my channel, you know I love Blade. And the, the first Blade was a great horror movie. It's a vampire movie. It's a superhero movie. It's a. It's everything about my channel that I love. So let me know what you think about my list in the comments below. Do you think Blade is the number one Halloween movie to watch this year? Let me know. Peace, Hotep, the Black Man is God, and I'm out.